Um, oops. Uh, as I said, I was going to be playing with some TNT and uh, uh, making things explode and... Um, uh, oops. Um, hi guys! How you doing? Uh, don't mind the hole. Um, I'll have a fix in a minute. Alright. Thank you. Alright, go back there. Alright, repairs need to be underway. I will be back in a minute. Bye! Welcome one and all to Spare World 2.0, a damaged Spare World 2.0. Uh, I got that hole fixed. Um, I don't think they noticed, uh, and uh, so hopefully we'll keep it that way. Uh, before I go back to blowing up some more stuff down there uh, underneath the town, uh, well, I'm going to make a warehouse or a factory area underneath there. So I thought I'd use TNT for that, but before I go back to that, um, I want to show you two things, that uh, a couple things that I've done. Um, as you can see, I got some, this is on top of the library. I uh, started making a little bit of garden trying to figure out what I want it to look like, so playing with it. But if you notice, uh, that dirt area is gone. That level that was up here, because I finished the two buildings. I, mean, I actually have three buildings that I finished up. Here they are. That's going to be my laboratory. Do all the potions and everything, some testing, that sort of stuff. And there's my house. That's where the living quarter is going to be. So I finally decided I wanted to get those done and get them up. Here, I'll take you down and show you what I got. And then one other one I got is um, back over there. I'll show you that one next. And I had uh, Setva show up again. They wanted to uh, make sure the horses were taken care of, so I took care of the horses. So here's the house. You walk in, you walk over the corners, nice little lay here, inlaid, colors. This will be the dining room area. I'm thinking about putting the, uh, the, the dragon egg right up here on the mantle. This will be the kitchen here. It's got a nice back door. Go out and take a look around. And this will be the living room area. Some stuff like that. These are the stairs that go up to the second level. We just have this area that looks down. And then we'll have a bedroom area, which I've still gotta I've still gotta furnish everything. But at least I've got the buildings up. At least it looks nice now. It's, at least it looks like I actually uh, have some place to live instead of just a dirt roof. So we got that all taken care of here. So that's the house. I like it. I had fun putting that together. Then, now, laboratory. I had fun doing the colors. Uh, as you can see, the, um, the iron farm is doing well. I used a bunch of iron blocks in the building. So we'll go in here. There we go. And we'll set everything up here. I got the anvil in here right now. I'll do other things in here, potions, um, uh, growing nether wart, that sort of thing will be in here. So, and I got the ver the uh, this skylight like this all the way, so I can actually just look up and see where the sun's at. It goes uh, east to west, so I can see where the sun's at during the day and know what time it is. All right. And the last thing we have here that I put together during my little bits and pieces before going to the end is the stables and there's the stables let's take you down and take a look here I am rather upset one of my uh, one of my horses got killed by a creeper I'm not happy about that but we'll take care of it so here we go the stables we walk in here here we go and here's all my horses. I've got four now. I've lost two along the way, so I'm glad I've got 
ones I do. So here's what the stables look like on the inside. We've got every one of them's got uh, some water and some hay to look through and a window, a hay to eat and the window to look through. And it's got the gates right here. Close them in. Here's my supply area where I keep all my stuff. And there we go. All right. Those are my three big bills I did in the bits and pieces while we were waiting to get ready for the uh, the end. So hopefully you guys like. Uh, we will come back later. I'm going to show you what I'm working on underneath here as my next project. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, I've been doing some work down here underneath the village. Uh, and uh, while looking up how to use some of the TNT and stuff, I found a little trick that I had to show you here. Um, and let's show you here. This is something I saw, I think, on Minecraft PG5, I think it was. Uh, I'll double check and I'll put it in the notes here. Um, but what you can do... Come here, come here. Come here. Come back here. Alright. You can take... It's kind of interesting. Watch this. I'm going to put this here. Yeah, push it back there. Take this out. Now... One thing I got to do here is I've got to, yeah, look at all my TNT. Um, I got more than that probably. Um, I got to make sure I can put up a barrier here to keep me from getting too hurt. There we go. You ready? Ready? Now, it's a mine cart. It's a TNT mine cart in there now. Watch what happens. All right, so it explodes, but look what look what we're left with: the TNT and the minecart. You can use them over and over again. Never run out of TNT. You just have to push it in off a rail. That's the only way you can place it. Put it on a rail, push it in, and then light the block right behind it or whatever, and it will explode and take it out. Cool little trick, a little glitch. Um, just in the effort of trying to be fair, not fair, but you know, not use glitches like that. Uh, I, I haven't used it, I thought it was interesting to show you guys. Use it if you want. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, while looking around, Monkey Farm came up with one that I thought was interesting for doing large areas. Uh, I've got right here. I've got, he had a whole circle of these things, cut out a whole huge hole. Um, I've got dispensers here, here, and here that just will drop things. So it's kind of fun. We'll go up here and just do this. Boom. And there we go. We start getting more holes. All right, I'm going to continue doing this because I am working on making a whole huge, almost like ravine around underneath this thing. See here? It gives you an idea. I've already done two sides. I've done that one. And over here. Starts over there, goes around here. I'm going to drop over there. See my mob spawner? My mob grinder has come in handy with all that, uh, with all the gunpowder. All I have to do is dig up the sand, and I've got plenty of gunpowder to do this. So I'm going to continue clearing this area out. And then when I'm done with this, and I'm going to do a bit of a build down there, uh, I will show you what I come up with. And we are back. And look at this. Throw in some holes here, but... This is like my own private little ravine. It's cool. I even ran into one of my uh, passages from the mine that's underneath my house area. Um, and so I've uh, filled in all this area. Here we are underneath here. Uh, I've got some work to do. i got some ideas about what I want to do. Um, so i got some TNT, but I don't think I'm going to be using it anymore. I think I'm done. But I'm going to be working, uh, trying to get something to look nice down here. I got some ideas I'm going to put together. So hopefully uh, I'll have something done when we come back here. 
and uh, we will talk then. Otherwise, uh, it was fun really trying to put this thing together because uh, I kept getting mob spawning in the dark areas in here. So I get lit up pretty well. I gotta make more torches. Oh, this is kind of cool. I like how this goes underneath the center pillar that I made. So I'm gonna make this, uh, neaten this up some, uh, prettify it, uh, whatever you want to call it. And then when I come back, hopefully in next episode, I will have this all ready to go and have you guys take a look at it, at least mostly. And so you can see what I'm going to do here because, uh, um, got plans. They are uh, focused on the village there. Um, it's really for, this is going to be like a factory area for all the stuff I can use to basically grind out emeralds uh, and then buy things with the emeralds. So I'm going to be working on that stuff. All the stuff you can trade and stuff, I'm going to try and make stuff down here. So all I got to do is send it right up there and I'll be ready to go. All right. We will talk to you next time, everybody. We'll catch you later.